Hi, this is a video showing you our learning objective for PE this week. We want you to stay active at home and still access your PE learning. The activities can be done on your own or with a family member. Make sure you have plenty of room. What we are working on this week. The skill is power. The learning objective is to improve your throwing power by being explosive. The key words are power, explosive, distance. And the can I question is can you throw a ball at least 15 metres with either arm? of room to move and do your actions. We're going to look at rounders. So for a short distance we would throw maybe from the backstop back to the bowler you would throw underarm. Yes? So practice your, put your imaginary ball in your hand and practice your underarm throw as if you're the backstop throwing it back to the bowler. A nice little short throw there. Wonderful. Okay? Put the ball in the other hand and we'll throw it again. So swinging from back to front, okay? And nice little throw back to the ball there. Brilliant. Okay, now let's do a medium distance. This in rounders might be from, if you're a fielder and you're throwing it to the nearest base to you. Okay, so you've got the ball and you're throwing it. Now if we're throwing it a bit further, we might go from underarm to what, Isaac? to over round, okay? I'm sure you do that at home as well. So I'm going to go from under round to over round, I'm going to throw over the top. So put that ball in your hand, throw it over the top, and your arm might move a little bit quicker this time. You can use your other arm, your non-throwing arm, to help you in and as a balance. Okay, and should we do the other round, Isaac? That's it. 
brilliant. Two, a few on this arm as well. That's it. Stepping back and throwing through. Well done. Finally, Isaac's showing us the long distance throw. Okay? So first throwing it as far as we can. And in rounders, we might use this to throw to four bits to get the bat around. So you might need to feel the right deep in the field and you're trying to get this ball as far as you can, as quick as you can. So you're going to go over and again. This time, you might have a little run up like Isaac was doing. So a little run up, bring your arm through as fast as you can, throwing it forwards. Remember to have control still and nice and quickly throwing that ball. Try it with your other arm as well. Moving forward and throwing that ball. Here we go. A few little steps and throw. Fantastic. If you get a chance at some point in the week to take a ball out and onto a field or somewhere that's safe to throw it about, it'd be great if you could practice how far you could throw and if you could get further, see what your furthest throw could be. Wonderful. Let's have a little competition now though. So the next activity, we're gonna do a little competition. We've practiced our technique, so now I'm gonna test you on it, okay? I'm gonna say short, medium, or long. And I want you to do the correct technique. So for the short one, I'm looking for underarm. For the medium one, I'm looking for overarm, but stood still. And for the long distance, I'm looking for a little run up and then a throw, okay? Make sure you have plenty of room, okay? At least enough room to move it up. Right then, off we go. Isaac, you're gonna join in too, aren't you? Ready, long distance. Brilliant, a few little steps. Uh, short distance. Are you doing this at home as well? Ooh, we're looking for an underarm throw, aren't we? Underarm throw for short distance. Medium distance. That's it. Nice little over arm throw. Short distance. Well done. Medium distance. Long distance. Let's do your other arm this time. So make sure that pretend ball is in your other arm. I'm going to practice your other arm. Short distance. <laughs> Short distance. Short distance. Long distance. Few little steps in Isaac. Okay, see if you get those steps in at home. Medium distance. And long distance. Get a big long one. How far did you throw it? Wow. 75 meters. 75 meters over here. Well done, that's fantastic. We've done lots of moving with our arms. And when we were throwing it, and we're throwing it to use explosive power to get that ball as far as we could. Okay, that's why we need to go through quickly and let go. Wonderful. Let's have a little cool down. This week, we'd like you to practice your throne with both arms. So if you get an opportunity, head up to a field or a park with a ball and see if you can throw. Can you throw further with your dominant arm than with your weaker arm? How much further does it go? Is your weaker arm less accurate too? Practice throwing with your weaker arm and think about the techniques we've looked at in this lesson. Okay, for our pull downs, we've got lots of movement with our arms and stepping. Okay, we're going to do stand up, sit down. This is one of Isaac's favorite things, okay? I love it. You love it, wonderful. I hope you love it at home as well. So just to remind you, it is, if I say stand up, I actually mean sit down. And if I say sit down, I actually mean stand up. So it's like the opposite. If I say anything else, you do what I tell you. So if I say jump, I do want you to jump. And if I say turn around, I do want you to turn around. Okay, nice little fun call there. Ready, sit down. Sit down. Stand up. Well done, Isaac over here. Did you get that at home? Stand up. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. Turn around. Turn around. Sit down. Stand.
Hand up. Arms up. Ooh, arms up. That's it. So you sit down. Sit down. Arms up. <laughs> it's not working today, is it? <laughs> I hope you're doing better at home. Okay, stand up. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. I'm making him work. Are you working at home? Arms out. Arms up. Arms down. Jump. Turn around. Sit down. Nearly got him. Okay then. Well done. Let's have a little shake out to finish off. Well done today. Remember, if you get a chance, try and practice your technique with an actual ball. That'd be great. If not, keep practicing at home uh, with your pretend ball. Okay, fantastic. And we hope to see you next week. Bye bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Let's remember what we were working on in this lesson. The skill was power. The learning objective was to improve your throwing power by being explosive. The key words were power, explosive, distance. And the can I question was, can you throw a ball at least 15 meters with either arm? See if you can get out to a park or a field to practice. We hope you enjoyed your PE lesson. You can try the activities again throughout the week. Stay safe.